Ah. Okay. This is one of those interesting flops when you have a pair and a full wrap draw. As I don't think it's good strategy to just jam this in um, right now. And here's why. If he's 3 me with kings or aces, it's really easy for him to have a gut shot, and he'll never, ever fold me. Um, so I think it's better for me to take the call call line and really control the hand a little bit better that way. Because if I jam it in, he's really just not going to go anywhere. And if he does flip over aces or kings with a, with a gut shot, um, there's really nothing I can do about it. Um, so for that reason here, if he had a, since he bet so big and there is a turn flush draw, I'm just going to muck this, uh, which I know is going to shock a lot of people, but I, I just think it's spew to call because I, I think he's very likely to have hit this board in a similar fashion to me. And my wrap draw is really not as strong as you'd think. Uh, over here, got three pairs. There is two flush draws on the board, so I kind of would like to bet a little bit bigger here. And if I do get check raised, well, the money would pretty much have to fly in because I just don't think he's going to flat call kings and then check call kings or eights uh, when I have all three pairs like this. And with the river coming down the ace, I don't consider to be a very good card, and I really don't think there's too many hands he's going to call me with that he'll check call a bet and I'll win. I think he, if he calls, it's likely to be with some two-pair combination that just river to ace. Okay, well, that worked out. Uh, yeah, just to revisit the, the Jack rundown hand, it really is no good to me to, to get it in on a swap as I'm only going to get it in behind. Um, and him three-betting my early, early position raise from the blinds like that is really a sign of strength. So I think he's going to at least have an over pair of the gut shot, if not two pairs with the queen and the ten. And all of those hands are not folding um, when I do raise. And calling the turn there with a now flush draw turned, I think is pretty spewy, as he could have very easily picked up the spades and then absolutely crushed my hand. Um, over here, I'm going to barrel as I think he can very easily have been peeling with like king, jack, 10, queen, jack, 10, stuff like that. If uh, he peels again, I'm done with the hand. And I expect him to turn over like king, 9 or some flush pretty often here. Okay, so flush, that's fine. That would be uh, worth taking a note. Uh, actually, no, he, he had a um, pair and a seven high flush draw, so whatever. Um, down here, let's look at his stats. He's opening 17% out of the gun. I'm just going to peel. I don't like reopening the betting. You could argue that this is a pretty light peel, which I would agree with you, but I really would like a little bit more content in this video. So for that sake, I'm just uh, chucking that in here. My reasons for not three betting is... Even though I have ace, king, queen, um, he is raising from under the gun. If I three bet and someone four bets behind me, I can't call that four bet. But if I peel and someone three bets and then he comes along, I can call the three bet, but just not the four bet. Uh, 